All right, Creepy, thanks. Tonight from the I team, disturbing new accusations against former Maricopa County Assessor Paul Peterson. He's already facing charges in an alleged adoption scheme, but new documents claim that some of the pregnant women who gave their babies up for adoption came from a prostitution camp in the Marshall Islands. The I team's Bianca Bono has been following this story and was able to comb through those documents. Bianca? Guys, the documents say some of the women in this so-called prostitution camp were as young as 15 and 16 years old. Paul Peterson's attorney says he knew nothing about the camp. Rape, prostitution, and underage girls. Newly released documents painting a grim picture of what life was like for some of the Marshallese women at the center of a multi-state adoption investigation. The scheme allegedly run by former Maricopa County Assessor Paul Peterson, who's now facing federal and state charges in Arkansas, Utah, and Arizona, including human smuggling. Here in Arizona, Peterson's alleged accomplice, Linwood Jeanette, a woman from the Marshall Islands herself, pleading guilty to conspiracy and theft and has flipped on Peterson. These new documents showing a piece of Jeanette's initial interview with DPS detective Sam Hunt from August of last year. Jeanette telling Hunt she met Peterson when he helped her give two of her own children up for adoption. After that, she worked for him for six or seven years, connecting him to other pregnant Marshall women. According to Jeanette, most birth mothers she had recently dealt with worked in a prostitution camp in the Marshall Islands, describing the camp as a place where girls as young as 15 or 16 years old would wait for fishermen to come and dock. What she doesn't say I think is really important is that my client had any knowledge of that. Peterson's attorney, Kurt Altman, saying his client knows nothing about the camp Jeanette described. In her interview, she claims the camp is run by the Marshallese government or businessmen, something Altman says should be investigated. Maybe the real focus should be on the Marshallese government and what they're doing. At the time of her interview with detectives, Jeanette saying four pregnant Marshallese women were living in a Mesa apartment owned by Peterson, waiting to give their babies up for adoption. Jeanette claiming one of those women was raped. We maintain that it's been a legal and a lawful practice all along. And Jeanette was supposed to be sentenced last week, but that has been moved to May. As for Peterson, who again has pleaded not guilty to all charges, he's due in court in Utah this June. Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thanks.